McGee for Ernie Hatmaker. If you saw her post here recently, this morning is when I saw it, she had a terrible thing happen to her computer. She lost everything that was in it. So her Sunday shout outs are screwed up for the next three weeks. I thought, well, I'll help her out and I'll do a little shout out for her and she can throw it up on her channel if she likes it. So if you see this, she liked it. And if you don't, see it you won't even know that she didn't like it so on sunday she gets on here and she shouts out three channels usually and those are under a minute so they're easy to watch when you have you know a minute or two to spare and they also it helps them and it helps you and everybody gets helped in the process because her driving force is connecting people and she has been giving and giving and giving for a long time i can't even tell you how many she's done well over a hundred so I decided, at least today, I'm not going to shout out three channels. I'm going to sh shout out three types of channels. So if you are in the market looking for what kind of channel do I want, what kind of channel do I need, here's what I'm going to suggest. What you need is directly related to what your concerns are. If you have a concern about food, maybe you think you need to have more food security, then you're going to want a certain kind. If you're more concerned about collapse of the economy, yeah, you're going to want food, but you're going to want a little different twist. So let's just talk about This it. is one of my favorites. You guys remember seeing this on McGee Homestead Adventures. This is the Heat Seeker Chili from those Starburst, uh, Lemon Starburst Peppers from McGee Homestead Adventures. I'm in the Homestead community. That's the John Ryman. Mm -hmm. My channel's a Homestead channel and that's, that's what I always focus on. The Homestead community is unique in the ability that it encompasses, or at least it can encompass a lot. What you'll find is that a lot of Homestead channels focus on the easy things, chickens, gardens, etc. There's nothing wrong with that. Matter of fact, if you're a beginner, that's what you need. You need to focus on the start, the beginning. Without a garden and without chickens, it's very difficult to make your way through a homestead. Although homestead is a very wide, broad definition and you don't have to have those things. But if you're worried about survival, you can't survive without it. On my channel, I don't focus on chickens and garden much just for that reason, because that niche is already taken. I focus on other things. You go and you find the homestead channels that suit your needs. That's the beauty of it is that the homestead channels are so diverse. I may jump back and talk about some more homestead and stuff later, but for now, let's move on to the next segment, and that is the prepper community. The prepper community is more, the outlook is to prepare for something big and it doesn't always include growing it yourself. Preppers generally purchase large quantities of dehydrated foods and or whatever, you name it, and seems to be largely fear driven, which that's not all bad either because when something bad's gonna happen, if you think something bad could happen, it is a good idea to take it seriously. So. Anyway, the prepper community explores ways of getting prepared. They have what they call bug out bags. They have all these different things. And I haven't really studied the prepper community because I'm a homesteader. And so from a homesteader's opinion, my opinion, it's not as sustainable because it's not it's not like saving your own seeds, replanting and keeping this going forever and having pigs and just propagating on and on. It's all about self-contained, being contained. And there are some qualities about that that really are good. The idea is that a homestead, you have to be on the homestead and there's a maybe a decent chance that we won't have that opportunity we might have to run and flee and hide and all that kind of stuff so there is some merit to the prepper community and so that's just i'm going to throw that out there those are the people you want to connect with they're there you just do a simple youtube search they'll pop up now both for the homestead community and the prepper community when you search that you're going to get the big boys first and maybe that's who you want. Maybe you want the big boys first. 
Ernie on this channel has always singled out the beginners because she's all about helping. She helped me so much when I started out, it was unbelievable. I couldn't believe it myself. And so maybe that's why I'm helping her now. And I'm not helping her anywhere as close as she helped me. I'm helping her with this video here. So if you want to see smaller channels, you just have to keep paging through and looking. The benefit of the smaller channel is that you get to see things the bigger channels just overlook. And the bigger channels are worried more about censorship and they gloss over a lot of stuff. Whereas the little channel is still not afraid to get down and dirty and show you the details that you can't find anywhere else. In honor of Ernie's policy, we're gonna do three. She always does three, we're gonna do three. Okay, so today I want my third genre, if that's the way to put it, or my third type of community here on YouTube to be finding the wild forage. There are people that specifically specialize in wild forage and just going through the woods and saying, oh, there's something good to eat, yum, yum. You'll find a little bit of that in the prepper community. You'll find some of that in the homestead community, but you're not gonna find the getting down and getting very specific with it as you will in the forage community. So you need to get in there if that's what you want. If you think you're gonna have to run like a prepper, you're not gonna be able to carry enough food to do you for the rest of your life. And and I think that's kind of a short-sighted, but it, neither here nor there. The best way to be a prepper, in my opinion, would be to learn all the wild forage and to learn how to actually find stuff that nature has to offer. When you look around and you just see stuff. Now you're not gonna probably look around and see a big old nice fat hog but you'll probably find some plantain or you might find some blackberries or you might find some, you name it. There are literally thousands of things out there to eat if you know what they are. Mushrooms is one of the big ones and you gotta be knowledgeable. You can't just start off green because you'll be green. <laughs> so anyway, that's my recommendation to you is to look for homesteaders, preppers, and foragers for, for wild things to eat. And in that, you could say hunting and fishing is foraging for wild edibles. So you might wanna go that route. That's been turned into quite a entertainment business, the fishing and hunting, and a, quite a show. But if you go to certain ones, not the big time, but certain ones, they'll teach you how to fish and hunt, which some of my channel, I try to do that too. But this ain't about me, this is about you and about Ernie. So I'm gonna leave these tips with you and you do with them what you will. Are these your people?